Hey everybody, this is Greg with Mineral Springs Tilapia. It's afternoon here in Tennessee. It's a fairly warm day, but it's it's cloudy, it's going to rain, it's still winter time, obviously. Um, I wanted to talk to you today about a question that I continually get on my YouTube channel, on my website, and by phone. Um, people call me all the time and say, hey Greg, I, I'm doing everything you said to do, but I have I have a female that gets a mouthful of eggs and in three days they're gone. She doesn't have them anymore. And I don't know what I'm doing wrong or you know how to fix this. Well, number one, a young female um, in a breeder colony, sometimes they just don't know what to do. They're, they just don't get it right. And they'll swallow their eggs. Um, there's not a lot you can do about that, but there is one thing you can do about it. You can harvest the eggs after one day, put them in an egg tumbler, and if they're fertilized properly, then, then you're going to have babies. Not a problem. Um, sometimes they're just overwhelmed by hunger, and they can't resist the urge to eat. So when you feed the other fish in a breeder colony, they come up and they start taking in food, and if they start taking in food, they will end up swallowing the eggs. They may not do it right that second, but by the end of the day, I guarantee you, your eggs will be gone. So you got to make sure that your fish are healthy and, and you know they're being fed properly before you start getting females with eggs in their mouth. Um, some of the things that you have total control over pH, temperature, ammonia levels, nitrite levels, water quality issues. pH, you need to have it at 8.0. It's very important that your pH be 8.0. If it drops too low below that, what it does is it masks the feel of the eggs in the female's mouth. That's how they determine whether or not there's something wrong with their eggs. They use, it, they use feel inside their mouth to determine if the eggs are fertilized and, and determine um, if everything's going on right in their mouth. If the pH masks the formation of the embryo, which actually starts immediately after fertilization, um, they'll go ahead and swallow the eggs because they'll think about them as not being fertilized. So consequently, they're just going to swallow them. Um, but the pH is very, very important. It needs to be 8.0. Temperature, I keep my tanks at 80 degrees. Um, and I, I harvest my fry in on the eighth day from the female. Um, a friend of mine that lives north of me here, a very knowledgeable gentleman, he keeps his water at 85 degrees in his breeder tanks. and he harvests fry on the seventh day. Temperature does influence the rate of growth of the embryo. So, you know, if you want to get them out faster, raise your temperature. Um, temperature is a big issue with a, an outdoor hatchery. So, consequently, I give them the full eight days. Ammonia and nitrite, zero. Make sure your tank is stable, your breeder tank is stable, that, that your filters are working well, and that all of your ammonia is out of the tank and all of your nitrates out of your tank. In other words, that your filter system is cycled up, and uh, you know you'll and you'll do well with your breeding. Um, several other reasons that that are very obscure and don't happen very often. I won't go into a lot of the detail on them, but some things you can do think something about. Some things you just have no control over. Um, harassment by the male. If a male is very, very aggressive and you don't have enough females in the tank to occupy his time and his, and his attention, uh, he'll harass the females with eggs so much that they'll just swallow them just in order to defend themselves, in order to save themselves from being harassed so much. So those are a few of the things that, that commonly happen, um, and, and that's what we wanted to cover today. Subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. And thanks for watching. Bye.